viewers and welcome to our technical channel again we are having a series on pipe fittings introduction to pipe fittings in this series we are going to discuss the most common pipe fittings that are used in uh, industrial as well as the uh, MEP piping that is the plumbing uh, which this information will be very useful for the site as well as the design team people. So today we are going to discuss the swage nipple uh, which is a type of a pipe fitting. So to understand the swage nipple we have to understand what is a pipe reducer. So here we will try to understand what is a pipe reducer. So if there is a pipe which is having a size of say 6 inch and if I want to reduce the diameter of the pipe to say 3 inch then we have to use a fitting called as a reducer. So here you can see the images of a reducer. There are basically two types of reducer. One is the concentric reducer which is shown here and the other one is the eccentric reducer. From the name itself you can find out that the concentric reducer the axis of the larger and smaller dia is same the center is collinear whereas in case of the eccentric reducer we can see that the major dia and the minor dia the axis is offset to each other. This is the basic difference. So now in case of reducer we have seen in a pipe there are two categories half inch to one and half uh, sorry half inch to one and half inch we have something called as small bore pipes for that normally socket welded fittings are preferred and two inch and above all the sizes fall in the large bore for which we prefer the butt welded fittings. So this is the basic concept we have to keep in mind while understanding the difference between the swage nipple and the reducer. So now for reducer uh, if suppose we have a size of small dia and large dia. So whenever there is a reducer there will be two dia say large dia we may denote as L1 and small dia let us denote it as L2. So if L1 and L2 both are both fall in large bore large bore pipe range like for example uh, the large uh, the L1 and L2 both are from 2 inch and above sizes then there is no problem we can use the reducer fitting that is concentric reducer or eccentric reducer because on both the sides L1 and L2 we are going to use the butt welded fittings and in case if L1 and L2 falls in small bore range that is from half inch to one and half inch then we can use the socket welded fittings in that case okay so this is a standard reducer rule for reducer that means L1 and L2 both are either in big bore that is the large bore side or they are in small bore side but there may be some condition where L1 that is the large bore may be in bigger bore that is maybe 4 inch and the small bore may fall into the uh, sorry the L2 that is the smaller dia of reducer may fall into the small bore sizes that is from half to one and a half. So in that case on one side of the reducer L1 we have to use the butt welded fitting whereas on the other side that is L2 we have to you go for the socket welded fitting. So in that case we cannot use this conventional reducer be it uh, concentric or eccentric. So in that case there is a other fitting called as swage nipple. 
so this is the swage nipple we can see so to understand the swage nipple the dimension standard that is applicable for swage nipple is mss sp95 this is the american standard and then bs3799 this is the british standard these are the most commonly used mostly mss sp95 is used so here we have a cross sectional drawing which is shown here so this is the swage nipple okay and on l2 size that is the small dia of the reducer we are using the full coupling okay so this is a pipe which is inserted into the full coupling one side of the full coupling and here we are doing the welding and this is the uh, small bore pipe say 1 inch and from here we are doing the socket welding and on the other side for example this is 3 inch pipe directly the pipe is welded with the swage nipple and that is the butt welding so this is the type of fitting on one side it is butt welded on other side it is socket welded so that is the purpose of using the swage nipple so on this side we can see swage nipples are exactly same like the reducer it can be a concentric swage nipple it can be a eccentric swage nipple so uh, and also uh, the small bore size on this side it can be a socket welded or it can be a threaded also so there are two options that are available on the small bore side that is either threaded or socket welded so this was a very small introduction uh, to the swage nipple so stay connected with our channel we are going to bring many more videos which will introduce you with the fittings and uh, simple thumb rule calculations of those fittings and information which is though simple but very important as far as the uh, site and design teams are concerned so stay connected with us and uh, request you to subscribe to our channel like our channel and as far as possible share this information this is a very valuable valuable information and in fact this is your channel so uh, it is your responsibility to see that it this information should be shared with all your friends and all your colleagues uh, thank you once again for watching this channel